All right. Chill. Side note, the guy who keeps asking me to do Clay County and the guy who keeps asking me to do Go County is going to be really mad that I'm doing this one first. But like the man said, let's talk about Lynn County. Lynn County is going to be named after Missouri Senator Lewis F. Lynn. And a lot of you are thinking, oh my God, another Missouri senator, another Missouri slaveholding, blah, 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 blah. And um, not that I could actually find. Lynn is actually the half-brother of a gentleman by the name of Henry Dodge, who Fort Dodge in Iowa is named after, but not Fort Dodge in Kansas. We'll get to that guy later. Uh, he actually is a young man and serves during the War of 1812 as a surgeon, during the time period when you did not need to complete any formal medical training to be a surgeon. He actually went to medical school after serving as a sur surgeon for the War of 1812 for the United States Army, which is just bizarre. Say what you will about our healthcare system today, but at least we're not letting, like, 15-year-olds go on and just say, hey, I'm going to cut this guy open and see what happens. Lynn is elected to Congress as a Democrat in the 1820s. Um, he is later going to be elected as a senator from the state of Missouri, um, as a Jacksonian senator from Missouri, so he does support the party of Jackson. He is going to be in charge of uh, settling peace treaties with different various groups of people, uh, specifically the French and land claims, to make sure that those land claims that were bought during the um, Louisiana Purchase were perfectly satisfied. Also, while serving as a doctor in Missouri, because he did go back and get his actual medical degree, so he, he, he was playing doctor, but now he's a real doctor. He actually helps with two cholera outbreaks in St. Genevieve, Missouri, where he's originally from. Sadly, Lynn is going to pass away in 1843 at the age of 46. I think I got those numbers right. Um, when he passes away, his Senate seat is left op open, and the person chosen to uh, replace him is David Rice Atchison, uh, noted slave owner, noted proponent of slave rights, and not president for a day. So there you go, Lynn County. This wasn't as long as one because one he he was just kind of an okay guy. I mean, I'm I'm sure he did some things that were deplorable, but I couldn't really find any, and that's probably a good thing for my mental health today. So more Kansas counties coming. Lynn County down.